what better day than Halloween to explore what might be on the other side. Mm -hmm. So we went up to Estes Park, beautiful Estes Park, to the famed Stanley Hotel, a gorgeous spot. Mm -hmm. The question is, it's voted the most haunted location in Colorado, but is that true? I spent the night in the hotel to find out. The Stanley Hotel echoes of a time gone by, but are they more than just memories of 1909? Does the past come back for a visit? So we're going to get started off by heading into the original dining hall called the McGregor Ballroom. Tonight, a private ghost tour of the Stanley Hotel, compliments of Walter Oglesby. This room has a very important history for this property, paranormally and historically. Walt oversees four different historical and haunted tours. It's big business. They give over 81,000 in a single year. And we're enlisting some added help tonight in our hunt for haunts. Typically, people notice the vibration of a room. They notice, does it feel good to me? So we're feeling beings. You know, we, we touch our skin, we feel things, we feel something scary. It gives us the chills. That's renowned psychic medium Michelle Houchins. And the minute we enter the ballroom, Michelle senses over 30 spirits. Elizabeth is here with us, believe it or not, is Mr. Stanley and Mrs. Stanley is here. The hotel was founded 105 years ago by F.O. Stanley. Michelle says far from sinister demons, the spirits here are friendly and a quick walk to the billiards room seems to prove it. I just smelled it. That's what they're saying. Um, people will still come in and smell smoke. So smoke or any type of smell like that is energetic. We detect the faint smell of cigar smoke, though the space hasn't seen a cigar in decades. Michelle uses a simple candy to encourage the spirits to move physical objects. Is that what's happening here when a sucker stands on its end? This is Mrs. Stanley. So this is Flora Stanley taking over the men's room. <laughs> Not really the men's room, but, but the billiards room. Michelle says Mr. and Mrs. Stanley are with us the entire night. Hosts who loved the hotel so much, they just can't check out. And when we head to the basement. I was looking at that door. What they were showing me is carrying food in and a lot of workers carrying food in Walt. And so a lot of the cook and the kitchen help would come through here and they're with us. Does that make sense too? Echoes of the hotel staff from decades ago. We're then led to what's said to be the most active space in the hotel, the fourth floor. Yeah, so there's 16 children here is what I was just told. This floor was once for children and their nannies. It's also where we spend the night. And while I passed out, my photographer was rousted at 3 a.m. by a constant banging on her headboard, a banging that she says came from inside her room. Of course, the camera wasn't rolling, but it's the stuff of legend and folklore. And in the end, the only way to know for sure is to come visit for yourself. <laughs> 